Once you have a mix you're happy with, the next step is to create a file you can share. In this step, we take our multi-track mix and create a final file we can share on CDs, iTunes, or any other format. Let's start by selecting our whole song up to the final fade on our master fader. Next we'll go to the file menu and choose bounce to disk. We can choose our file format and other parameters here. We'll choose 16-bit WAVE and 44.1 to prepare this for a CD. We might choose 48K if this were for a video production or MP3 for internet streaming. We'll choose Bounce, name our file, and Pro Tools will create a mixed version of our song, ready to burn to CD. In this intro video, we've only scratched the surface. There are plenty of opportunities to grow your Pro Tools Studio and customize it to your own needs and style. There's a huge developer community offering fantastic plugins that cover virtually every type of instrument and effect. Some reproduce classic gear, while others create completely new and unexplored sonic territories. DigiDesign also offers a number of specialized toolkits to expand your Pro Tools Studio with additional tracks, plugins, and functionality. Rest assured, there's plenty of support in the Pro Tools community, user groups, forums, and training partners all over the world. Check out all the options at digidesign.com. Thanks for joining us on Make Music Now, and have a great time making music with Pro Tools.